I'm Alex from Hammer Missions and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to process a 3D image. So how do we do that? So if you open up Hammer Hub on the left hand side here you'll see mission planning, data analysis, flight logging, plans and billing, QM forums. What we're after is data analysis which is already open. You can see we've already got a few projects here so we want a new project so come up here to the right press new project and this is where you add your new project you can see here we have three different stages project details choose images and create so we're going to name our project the cottage type well it's actually other it's a 3d model description 3D model the cottage and from here we can associate the project with a mission file we don't actually have a mission file of this project in here but you'll see you can create one from here or not create one but you can associate a current mission file with the current project so we've done that part we'll move on to choose images so press continue so here you'll see you can choose your images or drag and drop them to here to get them in. But what we'll do, if we click here, that will give us this option. And ours are saved in our downloads. So we just need to find it. Do, do, do. There we go, cottage. And we want to select all of these images of which there are quite a few and then press open and you'll see the preparing files doesn't take very long and now all these images are loaded in down here you'll see it's only showing 30 you can change that we can show 120 images on the page there's actually 178 so there you go, there's all our all our images. Once you're happy that all the images are loaded in, press continue. So now you'll see it's done choose images and the next part is create. So from here we can create a project. Press create. And this will start the upload process. Now this can take some time depending on your internet connection. Um, so what we will do is we will leave that to upload and then come back shortly and show you the finished product inside the project. And from there on we can go and process our 3D model. Once all the data has been uploaded you'll be presented with your completed project overview. As you can see here, you've got your mini-map with where your project was created or where your, where your mission was shot. And you can see from here, this was done with a 3D mapping module and a tower mission module. So this was done to capture the obliques. This was done to capture the top down. So from here, we can go on and process our 3D model. So up here in the right hand corner you'll see process and get a little pop up saying process 3D model. So if you click on that you've got this option process 3D model generate 3D model. There you go. So this is now in processing so it will give you your progress down here it says checking images. Once it's checked your images we'll move on to submitted once it's submitted it'll start and then it will process and once it's finished we will get our end result. As you can see from here this can take some time. So what we'll do is we'll wait for this to process and go through its, go through its motions and then we'll come back and show you the final 3D processed image. 
Once the processing is finished, you'll be presented with your 3D image. As you can see here, on the left hand side of the screen, there you go. Our 3D render has completed. So what you can do from here, so you can rotate around and zoom in, so you can see all the detail. You can see above here, we've got our tower mission and our 3D mapping mission. And what you can do with these, these dots is you can actually select one of these and it will match this image to this image. So it'll tell you exactly where the photo was taken. Again, from the 3D map at the top. shows the uh, shows the top down image so this was a capture that we did ourselves and processed in-house from here you can also annotate so for example if we see something we're not keen on we can select one of these images. And from here, if we press shift and drag the mouse to create a rectangular annotation. So we can select this here and we can add notes. Just put duct. And that's annotated. The information becomes permanently available on that particular slide. We can also share, ignore that, enables us to share the project. So this is one we've done in-house. We also have a few more examples. So you have our office building. It may take a little while to load. So there we are. You can see this has been done using an orbit or possibly a tower mission. And again, we can zoom in. We can rotate around our subject. And we can also select different angles via the dots. And again, we can annotate this as well. And add your comments in there. So I have another one. See the solar panels on the roof. So we'll go back to our current one. So there you go. That is the workflow process for creating a 3D model. So if you like this video, Drop us, a, drop us a like below. If you have any comments, please feel free to comment. And uh, if you need to get in touch with us, please email team at hammermissions.com. Thanks very much for watching.